praise the Lord. Welcome to AIM. Guys, we're here at the house and I'm coming to show you what is going on. So, as you guys have seen in a previous video, um, our helper, he's all around helper, he helps us with everything. Um, has trimmed up the flowers. I still have to clean this up. But look, guys, look at Nana's garden. Nana was the one that decided to come over here and plant the watermelon seeds. And our helper went ahead and weeded this place and left Nana's watermelon there. And my husband bought these boards and the wire, they call it wire gush, but it's a, a, like fencing. And we have a temporary gate right here. So hopefully the dogs won't get in there. And you see they've been fertilizing it, guys. That's why Nana's watermelon's doing so good. They've been fertilizing over here. So they used to poop over here, but the soil, look at the soil, guys. The soil's good. This is contumery. So if you guys saw the short, I wasn't involved in the planting, but I was involved in the videoing. And we went ahead and they got this planted. So I do have um, something I'll show you guys in a minute. So we have these two that will get positioned down further so they'll be level like that. Yep, so that's what's going on over here. Exciting. So I'm going to go ahead and um, he's doing a lot of work. So I'm going to probably come and clean this with the blower possibly. And we'll see how that works if I'm going to do that or not. Um, I would like to do it. Of course, you guys see, if you saw in a video a while back, we had some wood that we brought from the farm, uh, firewood, just to see if somebody would buy it. But, um, it didn't work out like we wanted it to. It was hard to get somebody to come and take it. So, um, I believe they're just selling it straight from the farm. So that's what's going on there. And I will show you guys. And the grass is cut, guys. We got the grass cut. We got to get on a schedule. The rainy season has come. So if it rain one day, two days, three days, you can't, um, you know, if it's raining, you can't cut it. So it can really get away from you quick. So we're going to work on that. Look at what I got here, guys. Ginger, turmeric, and garlic. I picked it out of my garden, my big garden. That was the only thing besides my little cabbage. And we still have these things to plant. I think my husband's going to take... Oh, he already took some. Okay, he took some to the farm. Some that we already have here. So that will be nice at the farm. It will make the farm look pretty. We'll see what else we can put there to make it look nice. So that's what it's looking like with the grass cut. Okay, guys, if you see the ongoing saga of the war between peace and us about keeping these coconut trees planted, my husband fixed this a little bit to see if that will keep her out. So we'll see. Stay tuned for that. This weed was weeded down. Um, they just decided to weed everything. So I had some catnip growing there. It might come back. Um, I don't know. I'll have to try again with some fresh seeds. Some seeds that I know are really good. And see if I can get my starter garden going again. But that won't be really anytime real soon because 
we're gonna have to do something similar to what we did in the other garden to keep the gardener out. Peace the gardener. So you guys can see um, if I come in here, you can see, look at this papaya tree is very nice right here. Oh, sorry. And look at the, the stalks on these moringa trees. I call it a tree because look at it, guys. It's a tree. <laughs> so that provides some really nice uh, cover for this area. So I don't have to put my shade sail up anymore. We got the plantain right here. Some more coming up. And the mango trees are here. So this provides, the sun comes up over here and goes that way. So possibly I could plant some more moringa seeds along here. That would be a nice border, probably the moringa. I'm not really sure. I don't know how long these will last. I was trying to just experiment and see if I can get them to go to seed. But we'll, we'll find out. I haven't seen any seed yet. So we'll just wait and see how that goes. I'll come down here and take a little check on the animals. And then I'll show you what else is going on. Uh-huh. The grass was cut today. They are enjoying I'll probably have to lock this back so I can go out the other way. What's up, Mama? And a Mama. So this is baby girl's Mama. She almost looks like she's going to be another Mama. And this is a Mama. It's hard to tell when they're going to give birth because you don't really know when um, they got pregnant. So it's a little hard. Big mama's over there. Little sister right here. So October, I think we learned that October, um, big brother, oh, here he is. Big brother and little sister, they're twins, guys. <laughs> They were born in October of last year. So October, they'll be one year. Got the roosters. Look at tiny baby sheepy girl. Look at her, guys. She's so cute. Look at her. She's a tall little girl. Look at her compared to baby sheepy girl and her mama. So we got Mr. and Mrs. Turkey. They're looking good. We're gonna keep a close eye on them. Mr. and Mrs. Goose, Mr. Gander and Mrs. Goose. A big mama over there is doing good. Baby girl found her something to eat. Mm-hmm. They got some weeds and grass clippings and things of that nature. They're enjoying, They're enjoying the grass. That's what's going on down here. The chickies. Let's see what the, the egg situation over here looks like. Uh huh. You're giving it your best, aren't you, Mama? You're doing a fine job. She's got a lot of eggs under there, guys. So she's really been laying on them. Uh huh. Water spillage over there. You boys and girls better learn to keep the waters upright. I think what happens is they actually, the end ones, they drink out of more and it gets empty and then they perch on it and then they knock it over. I think that's what's going on there. So we'll come over here and check it out. Look, the boys are getting along. They're eating together now. <laughs> we'll come over here. They think I'm going to give them something to eat. They're all coming here. Where do those feathers come from, guys? And there's our egg right there. 
You see they're trying to hide them over there. They're burying them. So we'll go in in a little bit and see how many we got. The chickies are doing well over here so far. Everybody looks alive. So that is a good thing. A very good thing. We had to add one over here that wasn't feeling well. So we have four now. Two seem to be better. One's eye is still um, closed. And then the one we put in today, that eye was, one eye was closed. So it's like cold in the eye. It's like a cold in the eye. So that's what's going on there. So that's what's going on there. And we'll come around here and let you guys get a look at the yard and what's going on over here in the garden. So we also learned that the soil was not um, doing very well. So the cassava could grow good, but basically Everything else wasn't able to grow good over here. But this is what the yard looks like. We're getting this place cleaned out. So we were using that before to burn brush and stuff like that. But we're going to do away with that. Um, we'll just burn everything in that circular one. Another battle we've been having with peace and the burn circle over there and we just burn our rubbish like our yard waste and stuff of that nature things that can burn so this is what the yard looks like it's really growing here's our other coconut so this one ever since my husband put the second row of bricks around has been she left it there so over here, I pulled up my ginger, garlic, and turmeric. And now we have gotten some poultry manure from the farm that helps us with our poultry. And we got some poultry manure from there. We're adding it to the garden. I'm going to till it in and see if that's going to help. The other thing is this guava tree. Guys, if you see some of my very early videos, you'll see how this guava tree looked and how it is now. So it's looking very nice. We have another guava tree. So that's a blessing. I don't know if they're running through there or what and pushing this branch down, but that's what happens. So let's go take a look at the puppies, see how they're doing. And I'll leave you guys with that. They're knocked out, guys. Knocked out. So they've been actually drinking water out of this bowl. And we got him a couple of toys for now. And we'll have to change this paper. I've been putting paper down on top of it when they pee or something, but we'll have to change this out and find a better solution because I don't have a lot of paper left. These are, uh, when we were in the U.S., my husband delivered newspapers and it was the Greensboro News and Record, if anybody's familiar. So we had a lot of newspaper that we used to pack our things with and, you know, this was left, so... I was using it for them. So they're doing well. They hear my voice, so they're waking up now. But they're doing really, really well. I'm really pleased. They're playing. They're walking. They're barking. I mean, they're doing really, really well. 
so that's what's going on here at the house just want to give you guys this update and in case you want more information or if it's something that you would like to do if you would like to leave your u.s life and move here to ghana or at least leave it for a little bit and come on vacation contact us and we'll help you maneuver your way through and just help uh, contact us and we'll help you in any way we can. You can go to our website, aaimcs.com and go to the contact us page and you'll be able to find all the contact information there. So anything you guys have questions about or you know are curious about if you even if you haven't made your decision yet to come and visit or to move here and you have questions feel free to call us um we're here for consulting we're here for um helping you we can walk you through step by step whatever you you are in need of just contact us and we'll see what we can work out all right guys until next time God bless you.